Welcome to our fourth spring concert by the Sarasota Boys Choir and the Sarasota Girls Choir. You are probably wondering why you do not have a program. The reason is I have the only one that there is. Uh, we had 2,000 yesterday and they were back here backstage and we rehearsed and then we went home to have a good night's sleep and when we came today, the programs were gone. We think by accident, probably, they got loaded on a truck after a concert last night. And uh, so I am just going to tell you a little bit about what's going to be going on here as we go along and hope that will suffice. We had uh, some important people listed in that program. Unfortunately, I don't have a list of that either. But those were people who donated money to this concert by buying blocks of tickets. And uh, that helped us to pay for the expense of renting this hall today. Uh, we're deeply indebted to those people. We will publish their names at some other time, possibly in the paper or something, so that you uh, can see these names. And if you feel so moved as to send them a postcard or something and say, hey, thank you for helping out the Sarasota Boys Choir and the Sarasota Girls Choir, I'm sure that they would really appreciate that. You have also helped to support our group today by being here. The good folks that bought those blocks of tickets did pay for the hall so that every time you bought a ticket, that money could go directly toward the choirs and uh, the kinds of things that we do with these young people. So we wanted to give you a vote of thanks. We're going to open the show today with the Sarasota Boys Choir. And uh, they have had a busy time since we saw you all in December. They have sung about 18 concerts since then. And uh, they have been a busy group and they are busy now preparing for a trip. Uh, the governor of Missouri, Kit Bond, has asked this group to sing in his city, the Gateway to the West, this summer, St. Louis. And you'll be hearing more about that as we go along. So would you please welcome back to the stage at this time the founding director of the Sarasota Boys Choir, probably the finest musician in this whole town, and certainly my dear friend, Julie Rohr. Thank you. I would like to have you meet some other members of our musical family. The gal who just played the Alleluia by Bach so beautifully on the piano over there is Barbara Rathke. Please give Barbara a hand. The gentleman behind the drum set that you uh, saw playing out here on the lift a few minutes ago has been with us since he was a soprano in this choir many years ago. He was a charter member and he has been with us ever since. He is uh, in his first year at MJC and is a music major, and we're delighted that he is with us. Rod Altimore. Rod, take a bow. <laughs> Do 
the gentleman sitting at the piano with Barbara is what we call a pianist assistant. Uh, some people call it a page turner. And uh, he's also a fine pianist himself. He sings in Julie's Church Choir and uh, tends to the library for us. And he is also a member, alumni member, of the Sarasota Boys Choir, Chris Barnard. Chris, take a bow. We have here five very lazy characters, as you can tell by looking at them. Uh, they are going to tell us about some of the things that their mom wants them to do around the house. There's all kinds of chores that need to be done, but uh, they'd like to sit in the sun and just enjoy themselves. So uh, they have decided to kind of get together and uh, do everything manana.
My pastor keeps telling me to have more faith, and guess what? The programs just showed up. <laughs> we will pass them out during our brief intermission, so if you'll just hold on for a few minutes. <laughs> Whew, we've got some very tired fathers back there that have been running all over town, but we're grateful. I hope that you all enjoyed that last number. The name of it was Song of Freedom. It has meant a lot to us to sing it this year. During the election year, I think the words are very apropos and something that we can give a lot of thought to. The main line of that song was freedom with responsibility. And I think it's something we all need to think about. We're going to uh, tell you a little story now. We're preparing this song to sing when we go on tour to St. Louis. And uh, this song is about a man who comes home from work one night Everything is gone from his apartment. The dog, the furniture, his clothes, the pictures on the wall, everything. And uh, he finally finds a note propped up on the coffee cup which says, uh, life is too dull for me here, so meet me in St. Louis, Louis.
Thank you. If you're all in St. Louis on June 5th, 6th, or 7th, uh, look us up. We'd love to see you. We're going to bring on some uh, beautiful young ladies at this time. This is the Sarasota Girls Choir. Come on. It's fine. I'll uh, tell you a little bit about this group, why they're coming on. This is the fourth year that we've had the Sarasota Girls Choir, and they certainly are a part now of our cultural scene here in Sarasota. They have many different kinds of talents, as you're going to see during their performance, and they have been selected one of the uh, 100 or so of the thousands of applications that were submitted to the Louisiana World Exposition in New Orleans. They have been selected to perform there over Memorial Day. So we're looking forward to that. We will be graduating 12 of these girls this year, and uh, that is always a sad time for us. But as you can see, we do have some new uh, shorter recruits, and uh, we are looking forward to having them with us for several years. Oh, please welcome back to the stage at this time the founding director of the Sarasota Girls Choir, Julie Rohr.
we have a group of gals who have been showing up for rehearsal early for the last month or so and uh, working really hard on sign language. We feel that's an important ministry of our music this year and uh, they uh, do a beautiful job and they are going to sign for you today, You Light Up My Life.